Hey guys, we're back here again. Um, I just want to bring you a little update on what's been going on with the snapshot, the latest snapshot, 13W05B, uh, fixed the comparators and the and redstone torches to where it acted as a pulse limiter um, and would cause blocks to stay in in one place without the uh, sticky piston pulling them back. Um, so that's been fixed, so it won't do that no more, right? Oh, there we go. Um, so what I actually have this hooked up to is a simple T flip flop. It just simple T flip flop with a uh, redstone block, and the redstone block powers a wire and goes to the pistons and whatnot. Um, the last design doesn't work anymore in the snapshot. I don't know if it's if this is going to be changed at all hopefully it isn't hopefully this will stay the same and uh, here's how that T flip flop works if you guys don't know uh, so I just have it like old T flip flops you wouldn't have this redstone block but since we're in the snapshot we're using it it's just easier it's an easier setup and I'll take a zoom zoom around that so you can guys look at that um, in this design, with a comparator, I saw Dinnerbone tweet this, and uh, it doesn't work the same way as you would want it to. Um, I was hoping it would, but it doesn't. So I, I still use the T flip flop. Um, so that's pretty much it. I wanted to show you guys, uh, for all my new subscribers, um, thanks for subscribing. And liking the video, it's awesome. It great. It helped me out a lot. Um, very grateful. Uh, f for my new viewers, I want to show you around my little little creative world I have here. This I used to have this set up in a on another server. All these little contraptions right here. I used to have this all set up in a, on another server, and uh, it was awesome. How do I reset that? I forgot how to reset that. But anyways. Oh, here we go. Anyways, I wanted to show you what I have up here, set up here. It's just a basic train station with a RS Norlatch array. And it goes to certain destinations um, that you can set up on your own. And it's just an RS Norlatch with array with an array. And this delay here, if I can remember right. What was this delay for? Nothing apparently. I think it was to uh oh okay, okay. It was to reset the system. Um which somehow that wasn't enough delay for some reason. Um but RS Norlatch array, uh, this goes to this goes to the powered rails up front there, and then whatever buttons pr pressed here, as you can see on this one, it powers the rail that goes to this uh, this rail system right here, or this rail line. If I reset that. As you can see, if a minecart's going down this way, it'll just keep going and going and going until it hits the end there. Um, and that's that's pretty much it. That's a pretty simple setup. Um, and you can extend extend this as long as you need to, obviously. And you can actually extend this array for however many lines, rail lines you need. Um, but yeah, and then I use oop, hey. hey destroying stuff. I used the same array. Can I get that? There you go. Thank you. Uh, I used the same array design for this. It was going to be a storage system. Automatic. Well, not really automatic, but semi-automatic storage system. Um, and I didn't... I Eventually, I didn't end up making it just because of 
the resources it needed. So I'm going to demonstrate this for you. Uh, it calls a minecart. It calls a minecart from this section right here, this rail, and then went all the way up there. And then what this button does, it actually resets the system and uh, lets the minecart drop down on the rail that's down here. And this, I forgot what that did. Oh, that was I was trying to set up a um, that light block right there. I was trying to set it to where the light would come on when there's a rail or that when there's a minecart on the rails, but it doesn't really work. Um, and then that minecart goes goes back onto this rail, and it goes down here and bounces back. And this rail bounces back, and then goes to its spot. Um, and that's pretty much it. And to shorten the design, because if you had this set up uh, to where you know there would be this rail comes over here, and the next the last rail comes all the way back here, it'd be super long and uh, you'd have to have quite a big area to use it. So I'd shorten it, I had shortened it and uh, set it on another system here. Now if you press 2, I haven't really pressed 2 at once at one. Yeah, it's it called the second one, which I thought it would do, but haven't tried it out. Um, it does the same thing as the other side, it's just on another side, so it's shortened. Uh, that's about as compact as I could get it. So there's that. I'll let you guys look at all that. This is part of that light system that I was talking about, which didn't work out to to be. Uh, I forgot what this was. Oscar. Oh, that's my little piggy. That's the when I had that when the snapshot with the carrot on the sticks came out. And then this is just my password array. I don't know what it is. I forgot what it is. Oh yeah, I was trying to set it up to where uh, the note blocks made a sound when you got the one right. So like that one and that one. Oh, See, that one's wrong. I think these are the note blocks that are wrong and these are right. I believe. I believe that's how I set it up. But that's that. Um, there's plenty of videos on on password combination locks, on something like that. So yeah, this um, this I believe I was trying to get it to where uh, the floor would actually drop down. And I got it to work for it. I think I think I got it to work. For some reason one of the snapshots messed it up or something. Messed up the timing or something and uh it I couldn't get it to work again. So I ditched it. But that's all I have in the creative world, really. Uh I don't go in here much if unless I'm doing big big projects like this and um, trying to figure out a design that I like but that's pretty much it so um, be sure to subscribe and like if you like the video and uh, I'll see you guys next time peace